Have you ever had a really strong emotional response to an event, acted out aggressively and then immediately regretted your response and thought, what was I thinking? If you answered yes, then you have experienced an amygdala hijack. Welcome to the first episode of From the Horse's Mouth a series of videos to help you get to the best version of yourself. We've all been in situations where our emotions have gotten in the way of our rational thinking process. And sometimes these emotions are overwhelming and we end up doing and saying things that we instantly regret. So why does this happen? Let's find out. Our brain is a super complicated organ. But for now we focus on these two areas. The prefrontal cortex which is responsible for your decision making and your thinking and the amygdala which is the emotion center of your brain. Whenever a situation or event causes us intense stress, the amygdala takes over the cortex and triggers a flight or fight response. Now this response makes it very difficult for us to think or make rational decisions, causing an amygdala hijack. During an amygdala hijack, our body is flooded with adrenaline and a stress hormone named cortisol, which makes us do all kinds of stupid things. We yell at waiters, we say mean and hateful things to the people we love, we go blank during presentations and speeches, or even headbutt an opponent in front of 69,000 people. All these instances can't be reasoned out. They all sound irrational, but it's because our brain momentarily loses its capacity to think through these situations because of the emotional response that it's feeling. It could be fear, anxiety, anger, or rejection. It's like losing 15 to 20 IQ points because the part of your brain that's responsible for thinking and problem solving isn't activated anymore. Which explains the whole, what was I thinking reaction. It's because you weren't. So how do we regain control during these emotional outbursts? We can walk away from the situation and give ourselves a private moment. Counting from 1 to 100 helps because it forcibly switches the neocortex back on. Deep mindful breathing helps calm us down and brings back the thinking apparatus. Many studies show that labeling an emotion helps reduce its intensity and brings the cortex back into action, thereby increasing cognitive control. It also helps accept and normalize what we are feeling. So the next time you feel a strong emotional response, ask yourself the following questions. What am I thinking? What am I feeling? What do I want now? How do I get out of my own way? What do I need to do differently? Asking these questions will immediately trigger the other parts of your brain and give you more control over your thoughts and actions. And with practice, you'll be able to anticipate situations that lead to amygdala hijack and therefore help you deal with them a lot better.